Agricultural limestone, or ag lime, is a mined material integral to our daily lives. From the farm fields to the food on our tables, ag lime help farmers increase plant growth and produce higher crop yields. Let's learn how ag lime can produce a higher crop yield by creating an experiment with different soil solutions to observe and analyze germination times and growth rates for different plants. The materials you will need to complete this experiment are personal protective equipment, including at least eye protection and gloves, an empty egg carton used for your planting cells, potting soil from any lawn or garden store, marking stakes, such as popsicle sticks, as well as a permanent marker, distilled vinegar, purchased from the grocery store. Antacid tablets, such as Tums, are used as a substitute for the mined material ag lime. A spatula or spoon to handle the soil and a hammer to crush the Tums tablets. A liquid measuring device, such as a small disposable medicine dose cup or measuring spoons, to measure three to 10 milliliter volumes of liquids. And finally, seeds. Annual ryegrass is recommended, but adding tomato and or bean seeds to the experiment will demonstrate variations on the outcomes. Remove the top of an egg carton to create your experiment cells. You now have 12 planting cells for your experiment. Fill each cell within the egg carton with potting soil. Now, press down a bit to compact or densify the soil. Add five to 10 milliliters of water to each cell to moisten the potting soil, unless the soil is already moist or wet from the delivery bag. Treat and label each cell accordingly. For cells one and two, Add 10 milliliters of vinegar in each of these two cells to acidify the soil. In cells three and four, add 10 milliliters of vinegar and one crushed Tums tablet, our ag lime substitute. For cells five and six, add 10 milliliters of vinegar and two crushed Tums tablets in each of these two cells. For cells seven and eight, add nothing. These are the control cells. Experiment control groups receive no intervention and are used to determine an experiment's baseline to assess the effect of those groups receiving intervention, such as the vinegar and ag lime. To each 9 and 10 cells, add one crushed Tums tablet. To each 11 and 12 cells, add two crushed Tums tablets. Now, with a stirring rod or a teaspoon handle, carefully mix the soil, water, and additives together. After the cells have been treated with five to 10 milliliters of water each day for a day or two, the chemical reactions between the Tums, vinegar, and water can be measured if you have a pH testing kit, pH paper, or a pH meter. The actual pH value will vary enough to see the effects in each cell and consequently, a plant's growth. After two or three days, the chemical reactions within each cell will have reached its endpoints, and the cells should be planted with your seeds accordingly. Plant the odd-numbered cells with annual rye seeds. Use about 20 seeds per cell. Plant the even-numbered cells with another plant seed, such as two or three bean seeds or tomato seeds per cell. Cover all seeds to a depth of 2.5 times the seed's average diameter with more potting soil. The planted cells should then be watered with five to 10 milliliters of water per cell, depending upon how dry they have become during the two or three days awaiting the chemical reactions to reach endpoints. Place the planting cells or your egg carton where it can be exposed to light from either the sun or under a grow lamp.
Every day for at least three weeks, document with your camera and record in your laboratory book your observations. For example, when the plant first shows growth in the cells, the daily growth rate of the plants, the color and hardiness of the plants, and any other detail that you may have observed should be documented. Be sure to qualify and quantify your observations for reference and analysis later. Ask yourself, what visible events occurred when the ag lime was added to each cell? Which cells produced visible plant growth first, and why? Which cells, if any, did not produce any plant growth, and why? And what other differences did you notice in plant germination and growth? With this successful completion of the Ag Lime experiment, you will have learned the importance of soil conditions, including the effects of different acidic characters of soil on seed germination and plant growth, and learned how agricultural limestone or Ag Lime, a mined material, is used to increase the pH of soils and consequently help farmers increase plant growth and produce higher crop yields.